a tiger at the Bronx Zoo has tested positive for coronavirus. The tiger developed a dry cough and was tested as a precaution. The zoo's chief veterinarian said the test is not the same, though, as the one for humans. Several other tigers and lions at the zoo showed symptoms of a respiratory illness. All are expected to recover. Now, the CDC is saying it does not have evidence that companion animals, including pets, can spread COVID-19, but stresses that more information is needed about how COVID-19 affects animals. Uh, for the latest on the response to the pandemic, I want to bring in former FDA commissioner, Dr. Scott Gottlieb, who's also, of course, a CMC contributor, serves on the boards of Pfizer and Illumina. I don't know if you have pets or you've been watching Tiger King on Netflix uh, these days, uh, doctor, but uh, should we be concerned about pets before we get into the rest of it? Yeah, it must have been a complicated nasopharyngeal swab of that, uh, that lion in the zoo. Look, um, there's really little evidence that this virus infects animals. There's some anecdotal reports here and there of animals getting infected. You know, it's possible that if an animal is in very close contact to a human, ultimately the virus can get transferred in those kinds of settings. But um, the, the sort of one-off anecdotal types of episodes probably isn't an indication that there's widespread transfer. For example, we know that there are diseases where if humans are in very close contact to animals, they can get the animal infections, but it takes a very um, big inoculant. You have to get a big dose of the virus from the animal in order to get it because typically the virus itself wouldn't be contagious to a human. So it could probably work both ways.